What's going on YouTube? This is Marcus here with a uh, my review for The Real Housewives of Atlanta uh, Season 8. I believe this is Episode 8. And before I get into this video, I want to give a shout out to Rox from Forest Rock. She gave me a shout out this morning. Um, I was excited because I had forgot that I had asked her to give me a shout out. So when she mentioned my name, I was like, oh, Snap Rocks gave me a shout out. But anyway, I want to give a shout out to her. Um, and also, um, PSA, I'm still taking requests for um, the Q&A slash pay it for it video. Um, anybody that has a YouTube channel or if you have a business that you're trying to promote or if you have music that you're trying to promote or if you have products that you're trying to promote, um, or if you watch my channel and you know somebody else that does, um, maybe you don't personally do any of those things, but you know somebody who does, um, still give me, you can give me the information. I'll definitely check them out. Um, um, the Q and A video, if you want to, it's, you know, pretty much, um, open forum. If it's something that you want to know, uh, ask me personally, or if you want to get my opinion about something. Um, you're more than welcome to uh, talk to me. I'll talk to you back. Um, but I want, but it, I want you. I don't want you to put comments on this video. I'm gonna put the link down below to the to the request video that I made, and you can either comment on that video, or you can email me. My email will be in the in the description box also. Um, so Housewives of Atlanta. This video is not gonna be that long. I just, I'm over the show, but I'm going to try to keep to sit with it. Um, I don't want to just stop reviewing. I'm going to try to see if I can stick with it till the end. Um, but this is, you know, the show is just not worth me doing a blow by blow, scene by scene type review. I'm just going to talk about, you know, the different situations and just give my opinion. And I hope y'all can hear me because I'm standing outside waiting for the bus to go home. That's one of the reasons why I got the camera so close to my face. But, so let's see. Um, uh, Kenya, I, I, although I'm not a Kenya stan, I really do want her to win. It would be nice if, you know, she would one day find, you know, a man. And, you know, they get married or whatever and do what it is. I know I heard a lot of people asking, like, you know, Kenya so beautiful. Why she ain't got no man? And I was just like, you know... A woman being beautiful, that's a plus, but it takes more than beauty to, you know, for a man to consider you a potential mate. Um, especially when it pertains to being in, in a relationship. Maybe if all you're trying to do is smash, then, you know, beauty and having a nice body, that might be all you're looking for. But as far as, like, a relationship, it's more than just being beautiful and having a nice body. Um, but anyway, you know, I hope, you know, I, I do want her to win and hope that she finds somebody. Because I'm getting tired of her and these African princes that we don't never see. Um, Portia, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that she's, you know, she's going to pay all of her dust. I mean, uh, you can't help, the, the man can't help but to be more attracted to you phys physically than intellectually when the first time he met you, you were somewhere thotting and bopping. That's not, you know, if you were thought, that's cool. But that's not something that you show some show a man when you first meeting them, especially if it's somebody that you're trying to pursue a relationship with. You you know you show the, the you sh you show the thoughtness to them further on down the line, not when y'all first meeting. And you know that was the reason why when they had that date, why he was so trying to be so forward with her because he saw that thought version of her, and he was thinking that that's how she is all the time. Um. You know, so hopefully she'll, you can know, she can find her somebody too. Um, and, you know, and it'll be somebody that will allow her to be herself and it's not somebody that's trying to put her in a box or, you know, you know, want her to conform to something that she's not, which is what we saw when she was with Cordell. Um, Phaedra. I, I, I can't say one way or the other whether she's lying or Apollo is lying about, you know, if, you know, him having communication with the boys. 
I, I, we, I mean, we all know she ain't driving him up there to see him, but you know, she did say something to the fact that they eat, that they talk to him and they email him. Wop, wop, wop. So what I want to know is where's the email transcripts and where's the phone, the phone uh, log at, so we can see for sure if you know she's actually calling him and he's actually getting being able to see the boys. Um. I feel like Apollo's best friend, quote unquote, is trying to push up on Phaedra. That's just the vibe that I was getting from him. Um, the whole situation with Candy and Todd and this money, I'm glad that she finally was able to tell Todd, like, girl, come to my, come to the office and, you know, we can discuss what it is that, that I owe you. But it's kind of like the only reason she said that is because she felt some kind of way about Candy saying something about you know I normally don't work with friends because I've been burned in the past it's kind of like if Candy had not never mentioned that she would have never took the initiative to actually talk to Todd but at the same time I don't think that she was necessarily throwing digs at Phaedra with that particular thing because you know really that issue is between her and was between her and Todd um you know I personally don't feel like you know, because that's what they were talking about outside the event. I don't personally feel like, you know, that the the stuff between Phaedra and Todd had anything to do with the breakdown of Candy's relationship. It more so had to do with the fact that Candy, you know, Phaedra felt like Candy wasn't being supportive of her during her time, you know, when she was going through what she was going through with Apollo. And Candy felt some type of way about the fact that Phaedra would have become buddy-buddy with Nene. And she was basically talking bad about Candy to Nene. You know, talking about how bad of a friend she was. Um, you know, Don Juan, he read them girls for filth. I, you know, I, I respect the fact that Don Juan was taken up for his friend. You know, if I'm friends with somebody and I overhear them being talked about, I'm going to address that person to figure out why it is that, they, that they're talking about the person. Especially after you just got finished smiling in that person's face. And then, number two, you right outside the person's event. Uh, but at the same time, I feel like he was doing a little bit too much. He was a little bit too high. He was just doing a lot. And then, um, you can't walk in on the end of a conversation and just assume that that's all that they was talking about. Um, you know, because he missed the whole point, the whole part of you know how they were talking about how the event went well and they liked the song and they liked the video and wop 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 he just going off of what he heard and then when he went back and reiterated it to candy he only told her what he heard he didn't even reiterate the whole conversation so that's gonna cause some tension next week you know because candy was feeling some type of way um that saying <laughs> excuse me that scene where phaedra was dropping Aiden off at school. I don't I don't do Phaedra, but I felt like that was one of probably the realest scenes that I've ever seen with Phaedra thus far on this show. Um I, I I'm sick of Kim Fields. I can do without her on this show. Um Cynthia and Peter. Um I think that they're gonna be alright. I don't think, you know, even though they had issues in the beginning. I never, to be honest, I never thought that they were actually going to go as far as to get a divorce. So, because to be honest, if Cynthia and Peter get a, get a divorce, she ain't going to have no spot on the Housewives because her main storyline, you know, on the show, especially now that she ain't friends with Nene no more, her main storyline is, you know, the stuff that goes on between her and Peter's marriage. And if her and Peter get a divorce, ain't nobody going to be studying her. I'm just saying. Um, you know... Side note, when they had was out on a date and the dude was doing was painting a car caricature of them, I'm sitting there like, I thought when you do a car caricature, y'all supposed to be like posing and sitting still. That's probably why he messed up Peter, because they was doing too much moving. But anyway, um, I think that was pretty much it, y'all. Like I said, it wasn't that much. Um, you know, I just, I don't have the energy to do a full blow by blow, scene by scene review, but hopefully, you know, y'all like this review, thumbs up, you know, if you like seeing these reviews from me, 
comment down below i i do what i do want to know is y'all well, i do want to know y'all's opinion of don juan um aka littlefoot because he did you know he does put 20 on 10 um but i do feel like he's looking out i do feel like he's looking out for candy's best interest he does have her into her best interest at heart although he does a little bit too much so y'all tell me what y'all think about donna juan as uh stanley or lynette called her <laughs> called her i tried it called him um share this video um thumbs up rate comment subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed um i want to give a shout out to let's see uh random tv tv reviews i want to give a shout out to uh tiki 44 i want to give a shout out to color me pink ashley miller forest rocks much love from ky bondy blue justin J, jamar washington uh platinum rose random addict tasha c the ghetto view miss ptv uh a connection tv um, I think those, uh, set Socialite Sandy, DJ's World 101, um, I think those are all the Housewives reviewers. I know I, I forgot somebody. But anyway, y'all, I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.